Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover. I am Penj and welcome back to Sim Casino, where last time out we built this wonderful new casino just here, which is of course called the Teapot. And whilst things went very well last time, I do think we have a slight issue with our casino. And that is that there is a distinct lack of places for people to go gambling, which is not an ideal situation to find yourself in when you are running a casino. And when we've got ourselves, what, seven slot machines over there and probably a similar number over that side. What have we got? That's three, one, two, three. So yeah, there's nine over there. So seven over there, nine over there. So that means, maths with Penge, we've got ourselves 16 slot machines in the entirety of the casino. And that's it, which is not very good really, is it? I mean, okay, they're fine. I'm sure they look lovely. They're all, you know, very flashy lights. They make lots of beepy sounds and all that kind of stuff, but they're not gonna be bringing in either the people or the money, particularly the money, because it costs one cent, I think, to have a go on a slot machine, to have one turn. And there's a 35% chance that you might win your money back. So these things are, yeah, they're okay to have and they will generate a tiny bit of income, but they're not gonna bring in the big money. We need, we need different ways. We need a variety of ways for people to lose their money and hand it over to us. And of course, we shall willingly oblige by filling up this space over here with all of the fancy casino things, all the things that people expect from a casino. Like, you know, the tables, card tables, dice tables, a roulette wheel, all that kind of stuff can go over here. And we've sort of started planning for that with the cashier booths over here. So yeah, we'll get that done and hopefully entice more people to our casino because yeah, we're a little bit light on gambling options right now. However, what we lack in gambling options, I think we make up for in style because look at this place. It looks very stylish indeed. It's the epitome of style. I mean, I don't know what style it's the epitome of, but it's certainly the epitome of some sort of style somewhere but yeah it looks very very good now we did have a goal i had a bit of a name when we started because the place is called the teapot i thought hey let's make it tea themed but unsurprisingly the developers have not put in lots of tea themed items for us to include in our casino you know there's no giant teapots and no giant teacups and saucers and all that kind of stuff so yeah we couldn't do that and then i thought okay we'll make it british themed but again there is a distinct lack of kind of british theming options so instead we just kind of went for no real theme we'll just kind of do what looks very good in this particular area at that exact moment in time. And that's kind of what we've done. And I do think it looks wonderful. I mean, we've got a bright yellow bar, which looks very, very good. We've got ourselves bright red sofas with very kind of garish yellow sort of cushions on them. And it just looks wonderful. We've got the blue floor and we've got the kind of red, sort of red and orange kind of hexagon flooring over there. I do think it looks great. I mean, a few people have said that obviously what the plan is, is that people walk in and they're so distracted by the colours, all the different mismatching, bright, garish sort of colours that they don't realise they're losing lots of money. You know, it's kind of like a distraction sort of technique, which I quite like. So yeah, we'll go for that. Absolutely. So we're just going to carry on theming it in this kind of random haphazard very colorful and exciting way because i do quite like it so what we're going to do is let's get these things in let's get in all of our fancy casino bits and bobs so let's go down to here and what have we got then so we can put down blackjack tables roulette tables texas hold'em poker tables and three card poker tables okay i'm not entirely sure what the difference is between texas hold'em poker and three card poker except maybe in three card poker you only have three cards Texas Hold'em, you have more. I don't really know. I'm not really a poker player. Um, so let's get these things in here. Let's get these things on over here. So we'll put the we'll put the tables in first, and then we'll kind of do the flooring and stuff around them. I'd like, I'd like to have a bit of a path going. Maybe the path could go kind of that way. Do you want the path to go through the middle? I think maybe that could be like a central path that goes through the center of kind of the casino, because we're probably going to expand over that way a little bit. So yes, we'll put that path going through there. Let's get that done now, actually, before I forget. Right, carpet, and it's that one, and it's three wide. So let's just run that all the way up there. Wonderful, okay, so that's nice. So people can walk up here, and then over here, we're gonna put a couple of tables, and over here, we'll put a couple of tables, and then we need to expand that way. In fact, you know what we could do? Move that up there like that as well, wonderful. Okay, so what do we want to do over here? What tables shall we put down? I mean, roulette tables, they're always quite popular. They're always good. And you, know, you don't need to understand too much about roulette. You kind of guess, you guess a number. So yeah, we'll go for that. So if we put them we'll put it that way, that way, Joe, well, that way will do. We'll leave a little gap. So we'll put them sort of one across and one up. So away from the, um, away from the pathway. So we'll put one just there. And then how near can we put the next one? So we could put the next one there, but do we want to leave a bit of a gap? Do we want to leave a little bit of a gap? In fact, do you want to put the next one in front of that cashier table, cashier box sort of thing, just there? Um, I'd like to, but I don't think we can. 
We might need to do some expanding. We might need to do some expanding. That'd be quite nice, because I'd quite like to put something here. I'd like something just there. It looks a bit drab just there. I'd like some sort of feature just here. Um, do you know what? Yeah, let's expand. Let's expand. We've got the money for it. We've got 224 grand. We should be fine. So, foundation. Let's just build out. Let's go down to the sort of top-down view as best we can. Go like that. How much is this going to be? How expensive? Oh, it's really cheap. Oh, it's wonderfully cheap. 12 grand to get a massive, great big expansion there. Yeah, okay, we'll absolutely do that. Yes, I know it's got no access to pickups. We'll sort that out momentarily. Right, so grab the brick color just there and then apply that to the walls. Okay, so the outside should be done. Splendid stuff. Okay, I like that. That's good. And then we want to demolish those internal walls. So dismantle walls. So we want to dismantle that wall all the way along to there marvellous okay right that's looking very nice and then the floor so the carpet can continue how about it kind of meets up somewhere so how about we do we're going to expand a bit further that way again at some point how much room have we got we've got absolutely loads of space over there it's just huge so yeah we'll do that and how about then we connect them up up there like that there we go and then this space here can just all be kind of for gambling stuff do we need another we need another little cashier thing over here, or is two plenty? I don't, I don't really know how many we need. I kind of feel like we should have a third one over here, because yeah, this place is going to be booming. It's going to be so very busy. There's going to be many, many people doing lots of the gambling. So maybe we should get another one of those in as well, and then you know do our little sort of wall type thing across there. Let's get that done. Let's get that done as well. Right now, where were they? They must be in there somewhere. Right, yeah, cashier booth. So what's the difference between them? So, okay, so put it next to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so like that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice and kind of equal distance to the other one. Okay, lovely. And then we get our little sort of wall kind of construct thing. Let's dismantle that end wall just there. And then we'll bring a new wall in, wall tool. Let's just drag that down. Can we just put it chopping through it like that? No, no, we cannot. We have to do it kind of flush to it oh no that's still on dismantle no hang on <laughs> right there we go that's much better there we go splendid 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 right and then you go yay lovely okay now we need to get the wall sorted so drop of that pop that in ah right yeah so we're gonna have to do that can we do that for that oh it's gonna change the it's gonna change that that bit in there i don't want that bit in there to change um Oh, do you know what? It's fine. There we go. Right, so all the walls are done. $696 worth. I think it does everything again. I think it does everything again. Yeah, that did have the same wall patterning as that in there. But I had to do that manually. But I did like that. It made it look nice. Hang on, wallpaper. It's that wallpaper there. Yeah, it selects everything, which is a bit unfortunate. It doesn't sort of delineate the actual, this is a little room. It just goes, yeah, absolutely. We'll grab all of the walls. So yeah, we want it to look a bit like that so like that and then that wall across there yeah oh no hang, no I've, hang on i've done i've done outside walls now <laughs> not that right there and there and there splendid okay right that's good everything is in place and now we can get on with putting down tables and things again for people to go gambling on okay so what we'll be we doing roulette wheels before each one of these so yeah so where are they so just line it up and bring it down. Okay, lovely. So that one can be just there. So that's going to sit just there. And that one is going to sit just there. Okay, and then down here, we could put lots of things in the middle here. So we could turn them right. Oh, yes, that's perfect. Okay. Oh, look at this. Hang on. Right, That's outside the loo. I feel like that's slightly, that's slightly inglorious outside the loo. Um, let's go Texas Hold'em. Texas Hold'em. Texas Hold'em. Three of those. And then we'll have ourselves some blackjack, which again, I know is outside the loo. It's a little, it's not quite as glamorous as it could be, but it will have to do. It will have to do. Or do we put this as just a great big kind of poker sort of area along here? So we've got three of those. And then can we fit three of these in? Can we fit one and two? And uh, that'd be a bit near the edge. Oh, we could put one like that. That's not exactly perfectly in the middle, though, is it? It looks a bit grim. Um, yeah, let's put it... I don't want it to be right at the edge. That's the only thing. We could put something here. 
We could put something just here and maybe we need to build ourselves. We'll put a row of something along here, like plants or whatever, just so the toilets are slightly separate. Also, is that a big wasted space for the roulette wheels? Let's, let's put another couple in. There we go. I mean, they're quite expensive. We've still got plenty of money left. Okay, so now those things are in. We haven't got blackjack yet. We've not got blackjack, but we do have three Texas Hold'em tables, two, uh, two three-card poker tables, and five roulette wheels, which is glorious. That's probably way too many, but there we go. Right, loads of money is being sort of moved about because they're going to go and stock up that cashier thing, and then people are going to have to come and stock these things up as well. Imagine they're going to have to put, you know, they're going to have to come here and set it up, put, you know, the things around the place, and there you go, game table chips, and they need the ball, they need the little ball that spins around in the weedy bit, so, right, this is all good, Raquel, move time on as fast as it can go, let's make sure that all these things are sorted, and there we go, I was going to say, have we got, like, you know, vetted staff that can come and stand here, have we got proper, like, croupiers and stuff, okay, somebody is here, we've only got one trusted staff right now, can we get some more? Because people might want to play, you know, the... Hang on, I think... Do we hire them automatically? We might well be hiring them automatically. Hang on a minute. Trusted staff times 10. Oh, yeah, okay. That's pretty good. Yes, it's times 10. And how many of these tables are off? One, two, three, four, five. Seven of those tables are not active right now. And we've got seven that are away. However, if I imagine one of these tables gets activated somehow there we go that one at the top is now a valid roulette table if we go here oh there's still seven okay right my my plan there didn't work entirely but okay never mind but look people are coming in people are having a go on all of the different things i want to see people playing poker can we get somebody on this because that would be wonderful if we could get some people having a little a little play of some poker that would be very good okay so people are coming oh look at this hang on we've got 45 visitors coming in <gasps> 50 visitors. Oh, this this is this is the big draw. This brings in the big money. Oh my goodness me, there's 60 people. This is brilliant. This is very, very good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We're getting money back from people using the ATMs. We're actually making some money and now we're paying out quite a lot of money there, but we're making money from people using bank reimbursement, $210. Right, we're making money. We're making money, which is wonderful stuff. And there are people going into the secure vault thing, which I do like. Look at that. I like this. I like a little sort of secure corridor type thing. Let's get some flooring in there. How about we get ourselves... Uh, it doesn't really matter in here so much. It doesn't really matter. Can we just get something that looks relatively sort of functional? That's sort of, Hang on. What about this ziggity-zaggity looking floor? Oh, that goes well with that. Oh, that looks... I mean, relatively functional by which I mean quite horrendous. Yeah, that's 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 really quite monstrously bad, isn't it? Yep, we're having that. Beautiful, okay. <laughs> wow. I mean, if that's not going to give you a headache, I don't know what will. And then we need to sort out the flooring over here under these bits, because this has got to be something special. Oh, look at it. Look at it. The money is coming in. This is brilliant. So yeah, let's get, I mean, marble. Marble would be very very fancy. I mean, what goes well with this blue? I mean, purple. Purple goes well with blue, doesn't it? This could this could be beautiful. This could be beautiful. Or orange. Uh, yeah, that looks all right, actually. That orange looks quite nice. So how about we have... Yeah, roulette could be on nice sort of... A nice orange marble. Oh, yeah, this is brilliant. Yes, okay. <laughs> yep, there we go. Right, so we've bought some marble, which I think... It actually isn't that expensive. I thought marble might be quite costly, but no. And then we'll put marble under each of the cashier <laughs> things. Ah, oh, that is... It's so very shiny. Oh, look! That's one of the options. You can switch on reflections, but that's that's very nice. That's proper shiny. Okay, right, good. So some shiny marble going in. That That is lovely. That's wonderful. <laughs> oh, my goodness me, my eyes. And then, over here, what do we want on these particular ones? So how about, um, what colours? I quite like, I like the idea of the purple. It goes well with the top of the table. Hang on, can we change the top of those tables? Designer, I don't want to do it when people are playing. Hang on, no one's playing on that table. I'm pretty sure, no. Designer tool. Can we change the chairs? I want them to be like the nice, comfortable looking chairs. And then object colour. Hang on, can we change the, can we change the colour of, that's the chairs. I don't want to change the colour of the chairs. I'd like to change the colour of the actual top of the tables. I don't know if that's possible. 
I don't know if that's a thing we can do. Um, okay, no, never mind. Uh, well, let's make them all different colored seats. They can be that color and they can be design at all. Don't ruin it. Don't ruin it. Yeah, comfy chairs. Yay for the comfy chairs. They can be, uh, yeah, yellow. Why not? There we go. <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> and then this here, comfy chairs. Um, they can be, uh, Joe, we haven't got hot pink. We've not got hot pink chairs in yet. Perfect. Okay, they're, they're boring. Those chairs are dull as well. Uh, I, I like those. I like the comfy sort of, the like the armchair type appearance to those. <laughs> These look comfy. Um, they can be, they can be green. A nice lurid eye melting green. And then this one here, comfy chairs, of course. And they can be, how about just a nice, a nice sort of, uh, can we make it a bit more purple? Yeah, there, like a nice, nice purple color. There we go. I like that. Okay, wonderful. And now we need to sort the flooring out underneath these. So marble again. So yeah, if we have purple to go with the purple sort of countertops there. So yeah, we'll have purple sort of going around them like that. Purple marble, very nice. And then there was green, wasn't there? There was green marble to go underneath those. Oh yes. Uh, that is, that's brilliant. <laughs> and when I say brilliant, I mean eye meltingly terrible, but I do like that. Okay. And now, with the rest of the flooring, do we want to do this? Do we want to do this kind of thing here? Maybe this flooring, the, the hexagon red orange sort of thing, that should be for when we've got slot machines. And then around the edge of here, we should just have some other marble. I mean, could we just have some pale, pale looking marble? I mean, what does that look like? Mm, no, I don't really like that. We'll have to go over that. But that is regular looking marble. It's a bit boring, isn't it? It's a bit dull. Um, what would look nice? What about that? Just classic, classic marble with funny shapes on it. What if we had that going everywhere? Yeah, that looks all right. That looks okay. That sort of looks not quite as eye melting as the rest of it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Right, we'll spend, I mean, this is going to be very expensive, very costly, but yeah, it's important. We need to get the flooring in. It's got to look the part. Okay, so put that there and then that's going to go along there and then down this way to there fill that up and then all the way oh hang on hang on no that's not gonna work all the way back up beautiful oh it's 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 a wonderful it's a sight to behold it is a glorious sight to behold indeed okay right that's good so now we've got ourselves some areas here and here and a little bit here as well where i wouldn't mind putting some stuff i wouldn't mind putting something just here just to make it look a bit more interesting. Like a massive fountain, a huge unnecessary fountain. Okay, we're gonna have to make a little compromise with the width of our path, but you know what? I think that's fine. I think, let's drop a fountain into place. Okay, hang on, there's no design at all for that, wonderful. And then go back to here, get our carpet sorted. Okay, and then we can just do the carpet like that. So the carpet can still be three wide, and then we'll get our marble, and we'll get the white marble, which I think is that one, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. There we go. That is, that's perfect. That is brilliant. And then we need some stuff around this as well. Can we put stuff around the edges? Yes, we can. We can put lovely little, what are they? Oh, their plants are gone on the wall. Oh, oh yeah, now a few people have said, yes, we need some lights. That's a good point. I mean, I imagine there must be basic lights. There must just be very simple lights. But yeah, we do need to put some lighting around the place as well. Okay, right lovely plant oh there's a spiral plant uh yeah okay can we have can we have many spiral plants one there one there one in each corner okay that looks nice i like that and then just some smaller ones around here so one like that one like that one there and one there can't put any down here and then in the middle there is there anything that's even littler is there anything that's even small i oh, know hang on could we do something oh no that's too big that's way too big um Plant four, can we have it an orange plant pot? Yeah, there we go, splendid, hang on. And then that one there. Okay, so a little kind of feature just to break things up a tiny bit. So there we go, a nice feature. Now, does the fountain do anything? Oh, it's it's beautiful. <laughs> that is tremendous. Okay, right, this is, this is very, very good. Oh, somebody's won something. Somebody won $72, well done, whoever that was. Okay, right, lights. I think we might need to put some lights into places. Um. Okay, right, the, the, the toilet's mining some lights. We'll just put like a basic light in, that'll do. So basic light, basic light, that is splendid. Now what can we do about the lighting everywhere else? Ceiling light number three. 
What does that look like? Just like a little round kind of lamp type thing. Chandeliers? Oh, we can't put a chandelier. Why not? A, a two-story room. Oh, it's got to go in a two-story room. Boo. <laughs> Boo for the chandeliers. Okay, never mind. Um, do you know what? I think we just put some of... What's that? A beach torch? Okay. Don't know what that is, but okay. Um, how about some of these round... These round ones. But can we make them... Can we make them... Yeah, hot pink? <laughs> And just put them around the place. Just dot them around the place. They're not very expensive. They're a hundred each. So if we just go, yeah, one there. Oh, that looks very bizarre. They're just sort of these glowing pink lamp things in the sky. Okay. And we'll put them on the sort of the intersections of the thing. So about sort of there. Yep. And then one kind of up. Maybe one outside the loo sort of there and there. And then another one maybe up the top here. I mean, I think it's already lit enough. I don't think it's dark around here. So that will do the job for lighting. Okay. <laughs> okay, this is... this is it's, it's a sight to behold. It's a visual spectacle. It's a, it's a treat for the eyes. Ah, yes. Now, one thing that I did not put outside that we really do need to have outside is a proper sign. A large outdoor casino sign with custom text, which is wonderful. Now, thanks to Dave over the wee hours for sort of uh, pointing me toward this, because, yeah, I wasn't aware this existed, but yes, then I saw it on his playthrough, and there it is. Okay, okay, this is wonderful. Now, where do we want to put this? I think right there. I think just there will do the job splendidly. Sim Casino, right, so currently it says welcome. That's not good enough. No, 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 not welcome. There we go, the teapot. Now everybody knows that the teapot is in here. We have properly arrived. Oh, and look at it. Oh, that looks brilliant. I do like that. And you can see everything going on over there. It looks very good. Okay, right. So, got a proper sign in, which is splendid. I mean, there's so much other stuff. There's arrows and there's, you know, theatre signs that you can write on. Oh, that's got custom text as well. And there's a thing that just says theatre and there's a little sort of frames with all these different pictures. Sort of like a pagoda type thing. There's all sorts of stuff. There's so many sort of decor things. But, uh, okay. Okay. So, what's going on? There is somebody who stood about just there. Somebody has stood there. What are you doing? You're a bit frustrated, but I don't know why. Have you just sort of frozen? Do we need to teleport you to the pickup area? Are you okay? I don't know if they were okay. Look at this. There's a massive influx of people coming in. There's 132 new visitors that have come by today. Wasn't that on something like six or seven when we only had the slot machines? And the slot machines are just very full. Because whilst people are waiting to get on the tables, I guess they're going to go and have a go on the slot machines. Okay. Okay. Right. This is good. What we want to do is... I think we want to go to here. Hang on. Right. Where Where would the... There's a bit where there's bins. There's a bit where there's bins. It's not there. Uh, not in there. Oh, let's just put it onto everything. All the things. Where are bins? There's a bit where there was a bin somewhere. Because I think we need some sort of, you know, sort of rubbish bins around the place. Okay, yeah, they're over here. So, trash bin. Uh, let's just leave it... No, let's make it a lovely yellow, because they look good as yellow bins. Right, so one just there, and then we'll tuck one into this corner, and then we've got space for more slot machines there. So why don't we just put another one, two, three, four slot machines in? Because, yeah, they seem to be quite popular. There's quite a lot of people here, so we might as well try and maximise things whilst we can. So, um, I've no idea what these all are. We've got an Eldora over that side, Goldfinder, Jupiters. Uh, we'll put an XRE in and we'll have, yeah, we'll have a comfy seat with that one. I like changing the seats around and mixing things up a bit. So a comfy seat with that one and we'll put one at the end there. And then we'll get a Jupiter with a slightly sort of weird looking shiny seat, plasticky looking thing. And then we'll have a tall kind of bar stool seat for the game jack. There we go beautiful so somebody needs to come and sort of stock them up with stuff and switch them on and what have you but there we go brilliant stuff how's the bar looking revenue today 202 dollars 217 dollars that's brilliant and yeah look we can notch the prices up there's so much customization you can customize every single little individual bit and bob it's great i mean if we could put that up to 250 for a snack 350 for a soda uh six dollars for a beer and how about 15 for a bottle of wine? It's really good wine, everybody. It's really good wine. It's from the, the Chateau Penge. It's from Chateau Penge. It's wonderful wine. And there we go. Some nice little pretty visual things around the place. And right, how are they looking? The tables are looking... I think every table is in use. Oh, no, that one's not. That table is not in use. Is there a problem with this table? That wasn't in use before, was there? Has that done anything? 
Has that done anything at all? Hang on. Can we see if that table's made any money? Is that a thing we can look at? I'm not entirely sure, but some money is coming in. Some money is coming in. It's all very good. Yeah, I don't know if we can see if that table has made any money or not. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, never mind. We'll keep an eye on that. We'll see if anybody... In fact, you know what? Move time on nice and quick. Does anybody come over to this table? Or is there a bit of a problem with this setup? Can people not reach this table because it's on that side? But people can get to other tables. I don't know, somebody needs to sit down at it. Somebody sat down and then went away again very quickly. Okay, I think it's fine. I think yeah, there, there's somebody there. Okay, good. That table is working. That's good to know. Okay, so looking at this, I'm not entirely sure if we've made a profit or anything yet. I don't know if we're actually making more money than we're spending on, you know, staff wages and stock and all that kind of stuff. This is a little, it's a little bit unclear. I'm not really sure what this is actually telling us. So income is $45,317. That sounds good. That sounds good. But a lot of it is coming from vault collection. So vault cash added to the bank. So are we making actually a lot of money off of gambling or not? I don't know. We're making a lot of reimbursements for ATM withdrawals. That's quite huge. People are winning stuff on the tables, which is fine. That's kind of you know, how it works. Slot machine income is $560. That's actually not too bad. That's not too shabby. A massive load of people are outside. <laughs> There's huge, big loads of people. Okay, right. welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome. I think we're doing okay. It's a bit of a lull right now. I mean, people, yeah, people have just finished work. They've gone home for a bit of food and they've come back out in the evenings to do a spot of gambling. The slot machines are all very busy. And yeah, they're coming over to the tables, which is where the big money can be made. Okay, that's looking good. How's our research doing? Oh, we've done that. We've got reduced card payment fees. Okay, that's good. Now, now there's many options here that we could look at. There's so many good things. Bigger advantage, that gives us the extra things we can build. So we could get ourselves a craps table and Baccarat, whatever that is, like a card game, and Pie Gal Poker. So, you know, different games for people to play on different tables. That could be quite good. Larger loans, not bothered about that. Don't we want that? But a sports book. Let guests place bets, relax, and watch some sports. I quite like the idea of that. Just, you know, getting ourselves a nice sport book where we can just sit and just watch a bit of sport going on. And I've seen them. I've seen them. They're huge. They're huge, great, big, vast places with like, I don't know, a thousand screens of all different kind of sports going on. So that could be quite good. Uh, we get a theatre. That could also be very good. Instant delivery trucks. Call for immediate garbage, vault and supply trucks. Not bothered about that. And we could edit the rules of the games we're playing. We get proper security so we can have cameras and that kind of stuff. There is an awful lot of stuff that I would like to get in. High limit gambling zone allows you to set much higher play costs and prize amounts on slot machines placed inside. Oh, it's a it's a fancy sort of yeah high sort of stakes sort of uh, slot machine zone that might be worth putting in. It does cost quite a lot to get hold of initially. Of Eighteen grand to research that, or do we get bigger advantage? That's thirty six grand. Ouch. Okay, yeah, that's very expensive. And takes a full day. Yeah, okay. I don't know if we want that necessarily. Is this all of the research we've got right now? I think it might be. I mean, there's a theatre. There's a theatre. We can have shows on in our casino, which would be brilliant. Um, Okay, let's get... I think the sports book sounds quite good. Let's get ourselves a sports book. Let's get one of those in, please. And we'll have a great big area where we can watch sports all around the world and you know, do a little bit of gambling that way. The money is pouring in. I've just left it running for a few moments on sort of top speed. The money is absolutely flying in. It's wonderful. And yeah, so the money has come back out of the vault. So we've had to sort of stock up one of the cashiers, I think. But sometimes that money goes back in. So I assume maybe if a cashier gets a load of money in, I don't quite know how that happens, or if the tables are shut. Yeah, what are you doing? You're moving something. I don't know what they're moving. They're moving money into the vault, I think. But overall, the money is coming in very nicely indeed. I mean, yeah, okay, that comes out as well. We have to pay people's wages because, you know, people don't like working for free, apparently. I mean, everything's making a little bit of money. The drinks bar's making some money. Is that still looking popular? Yes, it is. It's looking very, very busy indeed. In fact, this whole bit round here is absolutely heaving. It's really, really popular around here. Yeah, we could do with some more slot machines. We could do with so much more stuff. We could just do with so much more stuff going on. I mean, I assume we can't build anywhere over here. I guess we cannot build any further in this direction. Could we do that? Because then if we did, we could expand this bit and then just put slot machines backing onto these existing ones and just have a little sort of slot machine area. But I bet we can't. I bet that's too far out of the area. It is not. 
we can build to there. So we can actually get some more space in. It's $2,724. That's fine. Do you know what? Let's expand that all the way to there. Why isn't that done already? Why isn't that a thing that's already in place? That's really weird. Uh, yeah, okay. Like that. Wonderful. And then we just need to go and dismantle some walls. Right, uh, dismantle walls. So go top down and let's look at that. So get rid of that bit. Beautiful. And then get rid of this bit just here. So this bit can go like that. Splendid. Okay. And then we need to do a little bit of rejigging around here. So yeah, we need to move some stuff about. So yeah, we don't want kind of the bin and that there. That bin could possibly come around here. Then we'll have a gap in the middle and then put some more machines over here. Yes. This is, this is wonderful. Okay, this is going to be good. This is going to look splendid once it's done. Something that I'm not entirely sure about is can we move items? Like these slot machines here, I don't want to dismantle it. I just want to pick it up and move it a little bit. If we go to design at all, can we, can we sort of pick it up and move it around? We can change the colour and we can do all that kind of stuff. Copy and paste. We can't, we can't pick it up and move it. I don't really want it to be demolished because then we're gonna have to demolish it and then just rebuild it over here. I just wanna pick it up and move the thing around, which is a bit of a shame that we can't do that. I think we just have to destroy it. So you have to be a little bit careful about where you put things, because yeah, if you then wanna change things in the future, you do have to destroy quite a lot of stuff. Um, okay, okay, I mean, it's not brilliant, but it will have to do. Okay, so uh, how, right now, here comes the question of, yeah, how do we sort of demolish stuff en masse? We can dismantle things individually, do we want to do that? Yeah, let's just get rid of that. Yeah, look. Oh, the stuff goes back into a little box. That's quite nice. So that can go to there. Oh, there's people on these ones. That's rather unfortunate, isn't it? Also, that floor needs to be slightly different because it's not level with that anymore. It looks all sorts of untidy. Uh, okay, we'll wait for these people to clear off. That one can go. Ah, good. Right. You've gone. There's a money bag on the floor. <laughs> we possibly shouldn't leave that lying around, I don't think. Um, and then, yeah, we'll back things onto here. And then just this can just be another big area of just just slots because yeah they seem to be relatively popular so yeah we'll get that worked on as soon as we can right dismantle that just there brilliant and dismantle that okay right get that take that apart take that bin apart okay right flooring 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 carpets here we go right so floor that way and then that comes down here and it's three wide and kind of comes that way. Now that's only two wide. Oh, it's, uh, they, they, I was trying to go for some sort of consistency, but it was never going to work. Never mind. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Right. And that needs to kind of go like that. And then if they're going to go, they're going to back onto that. So they're two wide, aren't they? So a little bit like that. So they're going to back on, which is nice. And then we'll have a little section going through the middle like that. Ah, yeah. And then could we put some more? across the back there it's gonna to have to look slightly different but yeah like that and then this area down here can just be for slots which is good okay right happy with that we are gonna have a bit of an issue with the path going up the back there aren't we so if we go like that put a bit there and then remember that the path could go that way i don't know what we're gonna put down here not entirely sure what could live just here and let's just make slightly bigger toilets are the toilets under under sort of pressure to be used doesn't look like it I think it's fine. Right, okay, so come out of that. Get us some more slot machines. Uh, we'll just go through and just put them in in order. I don't know, that one. So that one can go just there. And that one can have the... No, can have that chair. And the next one can have that chair. And yeah, that fits quite nicely. That one just there, yeah. So drop all these things in. We'll have that one with the silly looking shiny plastic chair. That one just there can have that kind of high up springy looking chair. That one can have the kind of bar stool type thing okay splendid and then yeah we could fill that side up as well then over here maybe we have ourselves a little a little seating area maybe a nice sort of seating area in the corner we've got a plant there and we could put oh yeah we need to do the walls actually hang on the walls need doing drop of that put that across there 24 monies and oh hang on 660 i think it does the entire walls i only want to do the wall that's not been done thanks 184 plus yeah i think it does the entirety of the whole wall even though some of it's already got paint on it or wallpaper or whatever it is uh, okay and then go back to carpets get the crazy carpet and put that there okay lovely and then yeah over here we'll just make this into a little a little seating area there's got to be some nice sort of chairs and things um i mean we could we could just go for some more of these just yeah for the theme of the 
of the entrance there. We'll just grab that. Yeah, this is good. This is all good. Right, pop that there, and then put another one facing it. Yes, like that. Yeah, that's good, and they can look at that plant. <laughs> They can just look at this wonderful bit of foliage here and, and admire its leaves. Okay, and then we need something in these corners. So, what can we put in the corners that's going to look quite nice? Um, oh, a little vase type thing. Yeah, that'll do. And then can we have another one just there? Very nice. And then a tall one. Yeah, okay. For no reason, those things are there because now they are and it looks nice. Okay, good. And then go into, uh, which one was it? That one. Where are the bins? I'm not entirely sure where the bins are. There! And we'll have a yellow trash bin just there. And yeah, I quite like that. We need something just here. And then we've got some more slot machines across there. We might have to wait for those slot machines to come in because I don't know if we can afford it. I think we might be spending beyond our means here. Yeah, we might have to leave it a little bit until some, um, some more money is coming in. Although it is ticking up quite nicely. It's going up quite nicely. Yeah. Okay, one last thing. One last thing. A nice bit of nice bit of foliage. Quite like those. Like the spiral plant things with a yellow, a yellow sort of twist to it. Uh yeah, there. There we go. Beautiful. So another little area to just, you know, go and go and take a load off and just have a little sit down. These are opposite each other, so yeah, you could go there with your friends and have a nice little chat. Okay, so the game's going at top speed. I don't know what happens when it gets to the end of day one, which is imminent. So do we just kick everyone out or what? Or are we always open? Are we a 24-hour kind of establishment? You know, sort of Las vegas style -y. I don't really know. Lots of people have gone. We still do have some people in. Looks like we do still have some people in. But, I mean, yeah, it's currently half 12 at night. I would expect there to be less people around the place at half 12 at night. So the money is not really coming in at all right now. How's our sports book thing looking? 7.6 hours remaining. So, I mean, yo, know, I, it feels, I feel a bit guilty that we're making our research staff work overnight. <laughs> I mean, do they not go home? Do you want to go home, admin person? I mean, you can. I'll let you go home. We're not that desperately in need of a sports book that we need it done by half seven in the morning. You can go home and go to sleep if you so wish. I will let you. And what are you doing as well? The pit boss. I think they just have to be there to manage all this stuff. Or they're not actually doing anything with it. There, I guess I should be sitting down doing computational stuff over there. Doing, you know, admin and what have you. But, uh... But okay, okay, that's fine. So there we go. Yeah, it's gone very quiet. It's very quiet. There's a couple of people in, but it's not sort of brilliant right now. But yeah, half two in the morning, people should really be, you know, we're home in bed having a lovely sleep. We have got a bit here where we can assess our guest experiences. We can also do a bit of marketing as well. Is it worth doing a little bit of marketing? A local newspaper, three and a half grand per day. Well, actually, it's three thousand five hundred and one dollars. You think they might be able to give us a bit of a deal and knock the dollar off to make it a nice three thousand five hundred? But no, never mind. So that brings in fifty to eighty new visitors for that much money. Hopefully, we'd be able to rip off those visitors. I mean, welcome those visitors with open arms to our wonderful casino. I imagine that's probably worth doing. Let's get that done. Can we do that? So, and yeah, there's different people that we can appeal to. So, in the local newspaper, do we want to appeal to gamblers, to entertainees, to business folks, or to hotel lodgers? I mean, right now, it would make no sense to do anything other than gamblers, because that's all we've got set up right now. But yeah, I mean, yeah, in the future, we could do a little business suite. That'd be quite nice. Hotel lodgers, we'd get ourselves like a nice sort of hotel bit set up. We are going to need a bit more money for that. So yeah, we'll appeal to gamblers. So gamblers, yes. We'll do it across... Do it across two days. What's mediocre? Um, memorable, higher quality marketing is more effective and can even leave a small permanent boost after. Hang on, how much is it though? That's ten and a half grand for excellent marketing. Above average is eight thousand and mediocre is seven thousand and two. Because yeah, we're doing it for doing it for a couple of days. Um, let's just go for mediocre. Let, let's find the most average, mediocre, ordinary newspapers we can find and spend seven grand advertising with them. So, okay. So there we go. So we've got some adverts across here. So we've boosted it a little tiny bit. The casino rating is 86% and peak visiting times, I think as we saw, are between five o'clock in the evening and nine o'clock at night. But there are some people on the way. There are some people on the way. Look, got 20, 30 new visitors today. So that's pretty good given that it's coming up to what quarter to 10 in the morning so people are keen to go and do a bit of gambling so what are people are people complaining about anything the only thing we don't have is food the only thing we do not have is food 
But yeah, people's hunger seems to be okay. They might be able to go to the bar and buy some snacks. But yeah, we're lacking proper food provisioning, which is uh, there. So we've got the drinks in, but yeah, this is a proper food thing. So we've got a buffet area, so we can do a beer dispenser, we can get a dessert buffet, some nice dining tables might be quite nice, drinks dispensers, cash register for people to go and pay for their food, and then seafood and steak buffet. Okay, so there's the mains, there's a the dessert, there's your beer, uh, your booze, and there's your drinks. Okay, but yeah, we're going to need a kitchen as well to get that set up, obviously, to prepare that food. I'd like to get that in, but... We're running out of money. <laughs> we could do with some money coming in very, very quickly indeed. Because, yeah, we're not making too much cash. Although that's looking good. That's looking quite nice. Lots of stuff coming in here. This is looking great. Okay, so what are we what are we doing? I find it very complicated. I just want a little thing to say, right, you've made this much money today. But yeah, in gambling, we're making quite a lot, which is nice. Hang on, bring that. Uh, can we not shrink that? Can we not shrink that gambling thing? Shrink. I just did it and then it's gone. There we go. There we go. So we've made, what, six grand today? Is that what that's telling me? And a net of 18. I said the income is that, expense is that. So a net, hang on, hang on. Expenses is that, income is that. So we're actually losing money. We're losing money. Yeah, that's that's not going to help, is it? <laughs> that's going to be a terrible idea. We don't want to be losing money. Yeah. Okay, right. So we are losing quite, oh, yeah. Yeah, what, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What was that thing that just went out there? Is that... Is that wages? Bank money transferred. Yeah, that was 10 grand. That was 10 grand that pushed us down to $1,244. Yeah, if that keeps happening, we're gonna be we're gonna be quite poor. We possibly, possibly, we need to add, there you go, then eight grand or whatever it was, a massive, yeah, five or six grand or something just came straight back in. So it's kind of fluctuating wildly all over the place. I don't fully understand. However, that is going to help a great deal. This is going to help hugely. There's a massive load of people coming in. Okay, 272 new visitors. Did we have 390 the previous day? So, okay, okay. We might just need to leave it running for a day. Let's just leave it running on day two. Got our advert running. So let's see if that brings in any more people. And yeah, we need to just let our money build up. We're not going to be able to do anything until we've got ourselves, I mean, at least $20,000, I would have thought. Maybe a little bit more maybe as much as 30,000, just to get something constructed over here, which would be quite nice. Oh no, the outside wall bit isn't done. We haven't got the money to do it. We don't need to make the outside wall yellow brick appearance right now. We need to save the money for important things. Oh no, but it just looks so terrible. No, 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 we, we don't need to. We're saving the money. It was cheap and affordable and we had to get it done because it just looked terrible. So there we go. We've invested in yellow fancy bricks for the outside. Just having a little thought here where we were just looking at the food aspect. Could we set up this area here on the back of the loos as a kind of kitchen area and then have this bit over here as a nice eatery so we could put down some dining tables some of the buffet things because there's a little bit of space over here that might go quite nicely for that. That would work pretty well. I don't imagine the kitchen has to be too big, but I mean, that should be big enough. I would have thought that's quite big for the kitchen. So hopefully the kitchen will fit into that space. And yeah, just put lots of like nice sort of eatery things over there. That would work quite well. That would work very well indeed. The only thing is, yeah, we're struggling to make a bit of money. We are struggling to keep our cash with us because yeah, we're down back now back down to $1,901. I mean, it looks wonderful. We've got so much going on. There's a lot of people in here. Lots of card games are going on. Slot machines are looking popular. But yeah, we're just not kind of able to keep the money. It comes in and then it kind of just goes out again. Of course, we're paying wages and stuff like that. But yeah, it's just, it's just very expensive. Everything is becoming quite costly. However, we are in peak hours right now. We're in peak hours. 409 new visitors are coming in. That's lots of people doing lots of gambling, lots of buying drinks, lots of sitting on the slot machines, and everything is looking very busy. Everything is looking very popular. The card tables are looking kind of packed. Some of the casino tables are looking less busy, but still money is coming in. The only thing is, if we take 10 grand out or whatever, then yeah, it's gonna it's gonna come plummeting back down. It's our money. Okay, okay, never mind. It's fine. Right, so let's just leave it ticking over. Let's leave it ticking over until... What was our peak time? Hang on, when was it for, what time was it? Nine o'clock apparently. So not too many hours actually. Couple of hours left and then peak hours will be over. Yeah, this is, it, it seems to be quite hard to make money. It seems to be quite hard to make a great big pile of cash, which you know, oh, there you go, that'll help. 
that'll that must be what 20 25 people there's another what five or six going in a couple of people are leaving there's some more people coming in here are some more people coming in so yeah it's the evening everyone's you know, finished work they've had a bite to eat and they're coming back in to do a little bit more gambling okay okay this is good this is good so we just paid the wages of 570 but we've still got seven and a half grand remaining okay right no, the money's slowly trickling in splendid oh and a great big pile of people came on a huge great big customer bus that will help a great deal thank you customer bus okay we're in the red we are in the red which is not a brilliant thing to see when you're trying to run a casino that does not help so what happened yeah we took 10 grand 10 grand money was transferred to the yeah from the bank money to the vault i assume yes yeah, so there's currently 20 grand in the vault right now so does that mean, this is where I don't fully understand how this works, does that mean we're taking 20 grand out of the vault? Does that mean that our games are being won quite a lot? Are, are people are people actually winning? I mean, you know, the house is always supposed to win, but maybe the house isn't winning and maybe we're doing something wrong or have we got too many roulette wheels? Do we need to maybe get rid of a couple of them? In fact, do you know what? These ones here could probably go. We've got five. I think we could cope with three. And that'll force more people on the tables. Also, it will save us the wages of two people. Because, of course, yeah, we're paying these two people right now. And we could probably just fit everybody onto three tables. And we'll get some money back from this as well. So if we just dismantle that right now, that's five grand back immediately. Go there. Another five grand comes back. And then these people will hopefully go to other roulette wheels. There we go. Yep, they're going to the other ones. Splendid. Okay, right. So that's got us a little bit of money back in which is very nice indeed. Lots of money coming in from ATM withdrawals. Staff wages coming out. The staff wages are really expensive. <laughs> They're very costly, but you know, I suppose we've got to pay them. But there we go. We're on 12 grand. We're on a lovely, cool 12,000. It's looking good. Our research must be done. Sportsbook is done. Sportsbook is done. How does this work? Where is the sportsbook? Um, here, there's a whole zone. A betting booth. There is a betting screen, a big TV, and a betting window as well. There's a whole new thing opened up with a zone and everything. Okay, that's brilliant. That is very exciting. Okay, that's good. Do we want to get some more ATMs? Do you want to get a couple more ATMs? Maybe over here? Because they're all down by the front door at the minute, aren't they? They're all down by the front door. Although, to be fair, if they are by the front door, people have got to walk all the way down here past the bar. Maybe they'll get their money out and think, do you know what? I'm near the bar. Get myself a little a little cheeky drink on my way back to my roulette table. So yeah, maybe that's actually quite a good idea that they are by the door. Okay, right. So what's going on? It's coming up to the, uh, it's the start of day three and we've got ourselves nine and a half grand. But that will now start slowly tumbling down, of course, because not many people are here overnight and we've got to pay the wages of all these people. Okay, this is still all good. It's still all fine. It's looking very nice. So can we now look at this? So gambling. What have we made? Hang on. Can we look at yesterday, please? Day two. So let's pause time. Uh, gambling, gambling. So we made 35 grand on... So income, 35 grand. We spent six grand on gambling. So we made a net of 27 grand from doing some gambling, which was good. Retail. Retail was just pure, pure sort of profit, which is quite nice. What did we spend loads on? Expenses. Vault collection. Can we do anything about this? Money transferred to the vault. Can we do anything about this? I mean, yeah, okay. We spent some money in advertising. That's fine. I mean, in hindsight, did we need that? Probably not, but never mind. That's the big cost. Vault collection. Do we need vault collection? So if I don't know, uh, money transferred to the vault, 40 grand. So we take 40 grand out of our own profit and put it in the vault. And then we take it out of the vault and put it into the cashier things because people then can turn their money into chips. I don't know why we're putting stuff in the vault. Uh, okay, right, do you know what? We are doing, and that's brilliant. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a casino owner. I know entirely what's going on with that. It's all fine. Oh, I think we've found a stuck person. I think this person is very much stuck. So gambler, just here, gambler customer, um, is very frustrated. Their energy is full. Their bladder is full. They're very hungry. They're, they're quite tired. Uh, their thirst is okay because they've got easy access to the bar. And their social is a little bit rubbish at the minute because, yeah, they're just sort of stuck. But, uh, yeah, they're currently perusing a trash bin. You've come to this wonderful casino. And you're staring at a bin. So how about with you? Let's teleport you to the pickup zone. Let's get you out of trouble. Let's get you out of dodge. All right, where are you going to go? You're coming straight back in. <laughs> okay. Okay, good. Hang on. We can follow you. 
Where are you going then? Let's follow you. Let's see what's going on. Oh, right. You're nipping to the loo. It's fine. We can't see what's going on. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll give you privacy. Look over there, everybody. Look. Look at that lovely roulette table. Ooh, it goes round and round. Right. And then you're having a nice sit down. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, now you're going home. Okay. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, but everyone pops off back home. Yeah, they, they just got stuck there. They got stuck and they were just desperate for the loo. But they were so they were so amazed by our trash bin. They just couldn't leave it alone. We had to you know, help them. Help them stop staring at our lovely trash bin. And so day three begins and our money's looking okay. It did not tumble too much overnight. We've got just under $6,000 to play with. So I think what we'll do is we will finish up for the moment because we've got the important stuff in now. I mean, yeah, we cut back on some of the roulette tables a little bit because we just didn't need maybe five of them right now. But it's looking very good. We've got these things in, which is wonderful. So we've got the proper casino tables in. They look marvellous as well. I mean, who would not want to come and have a game of Texas Hold'em Poker and sit on these wonderful chairs? I mean, the only thing is, what do you go for? Which table? I mean, the agony of choice. Do you sit with the hot pink chairs, the lovely kind of cool blue, or the very vibrant, exciting yellow chairs? I mean, you know, it's going to be tricky to decide, but yeah, we've got all those in which is really good. And they look marvellous, not in use now, because of course, yeah, it's 7.36 in the morning. Most people are probably still in bed or what have you. But yeah, things are looking okay. Next time we need to look at using up this space here. There's a big bit of space. We could, as initially planned, look at this, get a kitchen in, get ourselves a little dining area. I don't know if that's going to make as much money as we could make from putting in the sports book. And the sports book is going to be probably cheaper in the long run to do because all you need to do get some uh, get some of these booths in, which is fine. Get a couple of screens up, which is wonderful, you know, so people can watch what's going on. And then yeah, get a couple of betting windows in. It does require trusted staff to operate, so maybe we'd start by getting one of those. But that will probably make a little bit more money than perhaps the whole food thing, because of course with this we've got to build a kitchen. So we're going to buy a cooker and a fridge and a kitchen hot plate and all sorts of other bits and bobs, which are going to be relatively expensive. And then we've got to put the stuff out on the other side for the customers. So that's going to be more expensive. But I don't know what the kind of I don't know what the profit margins are for this. I don't know how much money we're going to make off food as opposed to a sports book. But we've researched the sports book and we spent quite a bit of money on researching it. And I kind of feel like maybe we should put that in. So maybe... Maybe we'll transform this bit down here into some sort of mini kind of sports book area. So we'll try and do something with some nice fences, maybe across here. We'll have a little way in down here as well. We could put some screens down these sides of the wall so people can go and check on what's going on. And then, yeah, we'll get something over here. Maybe we'll have a little sort of section in the middle with more screens on either side. So, yeah, we'll, I think that's what we'll do. I think we're going to make more money off the sports book and we've invested in the research for it. So we might as well get that in as well. But yeah, it's looking very good and we shall sort all that kind of stuff out next time. Hopefully you're still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be very, very marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on next time I hear in Sim Casino. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. She's still heartbroken. <laughs> She's still sick. Oh, Colleen, you're, it, this is not your day, is it? Sean Bozzini is going to defecate. How's the lounge looking? <laughs> Do you like the plants? I left them there, especially for you guys. <laughs> is there some sort of terrible apocalypse which I need to know about? He's just defecated in a bush.